you might see some people digging through the trash, and you have to wonder sometimes if they might find something very valuable. People are known to be wasteful sometimes, and they might not even realize what they're getting rid of. With more and more land being completely consumed with what some deem as invaluable, discoveries are bound to be made. Some people's trash can certainly be someone else's treasure. Here are most expensive things ever thrown away. Hey guys, this is American Eye, bringing you another great video. Number 10. Mine Artifacts It's important to know about history, because if you come across some important ancient artifacts, you'll be the one who knows that they're going to be worth some money. A mysterious barrel was discovered by a garbage man working in the Soho district of New York City. Not wanting something valuable to go to waste, he took home the barrel and was shocked when he looked inside. Dozens of mine artifacts dating from 300 BC to 500 AD. It turns out that the artifacts belonged to the artist Clinton Hill, who passed away in 2003. Eventually, the valuables were left to a foundation that helps clear cluttered spaces, and the workers must have not been paying attention to history class. One of the objects were a stone axe that were used during sacrificial rituals. A lot of things like ancient pottery would also be tough to identify as valuable without a historian. Number 9. Weapons Gray Plutonium Refining plutonium dug out of the ground and turning it into weapons-grade plutonium is a very expensive and extremely hazardous process. Plutonium-239 is made artificially, and first, one neuron must be absorbed by a uranium-239 atom. This makes the plutonium more reactive and ready to set off easier. Workers at a landfill made an unexpected discovery after opening an old safe which happened to be storing plutonium-239. The landfill was located near the Hanford site in southeastern Washington, where the original atom bomb was created. Just one breath near plutonium-239 can cause fatal lung cancer. This was from the Manhattan Project, and it's very mysterious how it ended up here. While it's not enough plutonium to cause a mushroom cloud, it would have certainly been enough for terrorists to make a dirty bomb. If the landfill workers had connections to the black market, who knows how much it could have been sold for? Number 8. Million Dollar Lotto Ticket Imagine having a one million dollar lotto ticket that you misread that turned out to be a winner. It's every lotto player's worst nightmare, and a winning ticket was found in a trash can near Little Rock, Arkansas. A woman named Sharon Jones must have been having one heck of a lucky day when she learned about the ticket's location. She also knew that the real owner hadn't claimed the prize yet. When people found out that she found out about it, the store owners and the original buyer of the ticket took her to court for who the real owner should be. Eventually, they decided that the true owner should be the one who threw it away, but this led to an appeal by Jones. The store owner, who owned the trash can as well where it was found, was not entitled to any winnings. It became a very lengthy court case, and it turns out that finders can't always be the keepers. Number 7. Pricey Violin Many people wouldn't consider throwing away a violin, and they certainly wouldn't do it if they knew it was worth $50,000. Giuseppe Pedrazzi might not be a very recognizable name to most people, but he's actually a pretty big deal in Italy. Anything made by him can go for thousands of dollars. Someone who was looking for a used violin to give to their wife at a garbage dump came across a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. After taking a very close look at it, the man decided that it seemed rather unique and wanted it inspected by an expert at an antiques roadshow. The man was shocked that he could make $50,000 so easily. Eventually, though, he just decided to keep it for himself and his wife to enjoy. Number 6. Antique Video Games In southeastern New Mexico, Atari filled a landfill full of their game cartridges from the 1980s, including games like E.T., Asteroids, Warlords, and Centipede. These games didn't succeed, and Atari had to do something with them. Investigators, though, were eventually hired in an attempt to find the games, and in 2014, the games were finally recovered. In 2014, the games were finally uncovered in a landfill near the Atari factory after months of planning and investing. After they found over 900 copies, the games were sold on eBay like hotcakes, and even the Smithsonian was interested. Number 5. Tres Personajes You might have a good taste in art and not even realize it. A masterpiece painting was discovered sitting outside a trash can on a Manhattan street in 2003 after it was reported missing from a warehouse. The painting was so valuable that the FBI at Interpol was offering a big cash reward for its safe return. It was created by a figurative painter, Rufino Tamayo, who's considered to be the founding father of modern art in Mexico, and his paintings can catch a pretty penny. He was very interested in pre-Columbian art such as petroglyphs and native cave paintings. 
Turns out the owners were basically robbed, and the thief who had it might have just thought it was a little bit too hot to handle. The woman who just found it said she liked the colors and didn't realize it was a rare masterpiece. She took the pain to Roadshow Antiques, who helped her verify that it was indeed a Tamayo original. Her amazing find got her a whopping $1.049 million from a collector of art. Number 4. First Edition Harry Potter Book Harry Potter has been a huge success and possibly one of the most sought after books of all time is the first edition copy. An interviewer who had the chance to sit down and talk to J.K. Rowling was given a copy of the book. He received one of the original first editions of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, but Nigel Stone was not impressed. He tossed away a book that a lot of fans would have spent a lot of money on. Since J.K. Rowling handled it herself, some estimate that the book could have sold for about 50,000 British pounds. No one found the copy, and it could still be out there, somewhere. Number 3. Cash Filled Tire You'd be surprised how many creative ways criminals will come up with in order to hide things such as cash. They don't want the police to take their stash that easily. It turns out one way to do this is by hiding it in tires, which would actually make for a pretty pricey flat tire. A tire was discovered on the side of a highway that had over $100,000 with all kinds of dough stuffed inside. The highway worker in Indianapolis, Indiana could have possibly been the most honest person alive and called the police to report it. They suspected it was likely linked to drug smugglers. Number 2. U.S. Saving Bonds Another lucky discovery, this time from Burlington, Kentucky, a person came across $22,000 of U.S. government bonds at a recycling center. The 12 pieces of paper came out to be worth quite a bit, but the worker preferred to return them to the rightful owner. For some reason, they were placed at the bottom of an old barrel, and it seemed quite mysterious. After doing a little bit of research, it turned out that they had belonged to a man who had passed away, which then led to a search for the next of kin. The son Robert Roberts was shocked that someone would actually be kind enough to return the missing bonds. And number one, but first, let us know in the comments section what the most valuable thing is you've ever found, and if you decide to keep it or not. Good karma is important, but all that cash sometimes can be a little bit too tempting. And number one, five million in diamonds. The main problem with taking the money is usually that somehow you might get arrested for it, as we're about to see. A strange series of events took place when a security guard found $5 million worth of diamonds. Some very incompetent workers accidentally tossed them away when they thought a wooden box was trash. But it turns out that that box was worth $5 million at the time. It included a stone that was worth $3.2 million on its own, coming in at 17 carats. The man Wilfred Martinez was caught on camera in possession of the diamonds, and the finder's keeper's rule did not apply. They also found out that he was trying to sell the ice on the black market, and that's also illegal.